today we're learning how to weld. Stick weld or electrode weld. So this is the electrode. <clears throat> this is a 6013 electrode. Hannah, what does the 60 mean? Um it's the like how strong it's the tensile strength of the what's the one? Um the one means it can weld in any position. It can weld flat, it can weld horizontal, it can weld upside down. And then the three, do you remember the three? Um, AC or DC? Yeah, it means it can be used on an AC or DC welder. So this welder is my old Lincoln. I bought this when I was probably 15 years old. I've had it ever since, it works. Okay, so this is a 220 volt welder. We've got it plugged in. Some things about this old school welder that I've known throughout the years. Come around here, I'll show you. When you turn this knob, you're changing the amp setting, which based on the thickness of your electrode. So these are 530 seconds diameter. The bigger that diameter, the higher your amperage can be set. And it depends on your thickness of your, of, um, of what of the metal that you're welding to the thing about this old welder is back here if you look at this here and here the inside here when you turn this is how it turns this in here is setting the different amperage settings so it's like a switch making an electrical connection between these all those uh I shouldn't touch that. This thing is on. I could get shocked. <laughs> so don't ever touch that, especially when it's plugged in. But you can see I've cut all this out to access it because the problem is when it's in between two of them, it wouldn't work right because it's kind of wore out. Anyway, so I just double check to make sure it's in the middle of it. So that's 120 amps. We'll start there. So when you're welding. <clears throat> You're completing an electrical circuit. So you, this is the ground. So you can see this cable comes all the way up to here and it's attached to this piece. See that where this bolt and it's attached. So this has to be attached to the metal. And then when you weld, right now the welder's not switched on. But when the electricity goes through metal, and that's what starts the welding process. So the big problem with what we have now is this metal is um, rusted and it does rust stops <clears throat> makes the makes you not have a good electrical connection so to, you need to clean up that rust so that's what we need to start is by getting all of our material that we're going to weld cleaned up we're going to be perfect it's probably not Yep. All right, so we're gonna clamp this to the table. Right, like this. So you know how the table comes into the top of it and not the bottom, so I would clamp the top of it like that. Okay. All right, we're gonna do a drag method, okay? So we're gonna start here like this and drag it across. A little bit of a wave like this. And that's what you guys are gonna watch. Okay. You guys ready? Ready. See, I'm scratching it. Get that started. That sticks. No. too high. See how that's going way out? Yeah. And this electric might be holding bad too. So this is a slag hammer. Watch, see that crust on there? Comes off and then there's your weld. 
See the beads? Yeah. Look at all the beads. So, you can do that for me too. Huh? You want it bumped up, you don't want it flatter like that. No, this one. was just different. There's more slag. He went to knock off the flag. It's actually not that bad. Until it cools down. I'm gonna let it cool down. Yeah. You don't wanna see if I set this on here? What? See what would happen? <laughs> well, I can't set this on the table. The table's metal. into it. Oh. And your angle is a little bit too much. You want your angle to be more like a 45. Check it. So you gotta start that scratching. That's that's called your that's called your rod sticking. You'll burn up you'll burn up your welder if you let it keep going now. Okay. So you gotta break it loose real quick. Scratch it first. this, I'm kind of going like this, right, and you were kind of, were you here or are you up here? I was a bit here Yeah, so I like to be up here, you have more control, and then I hold it like this, I kind of just yeah. set it in there, and then that way I might push them down like this. Okay. So then I just kind of go like this to get it going, so it's in, dun, 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 and then you weld it. And you're a little bit still too much like this, but that's where this will help. Okay. You okay. gotta kind of keep pushing down. Yeah. At the end, as you see at the, on the end, how I just held it there for a while and then brought it straight up. Mm -hmm. That's how you end it. Pretty good weld. Well, see how bad it looks like that? But when you knock off the slag, that'll be a pretty good looking weld. Again, always wait till it's not red anymore. Welder. 
you got to be moving it. See all that's from heat build up. Now, when you start to when you start your weld, you're pushing too down, too much down. It's a you don't really want to be pushing much. You just want to be bringing it back as it's burning, you're not really pushing down. Try it without. Try it without. Start welding. Try again. 